In this video, I am growing soybean to look at fruit production and overall growth under a cheap white LED panel versus a cheap red-blue-white LED panel, both of which have been purchased from Amazon.com. In the beginning of this test, the first thing I noticed is the plants were slightly more compact under the red-blue-white light compared to the white light. The plants under the red-blue-white light were also growing additional stems out of the lower nodes as if they had been top pruned, while the plants under the white light did not. These same growth characteristics were also noticed growing lettuce in episode 1, which is linked in the description below. So let's watch how this unfolds in this time lapse as I talk a little more about this in upcoming videos. This video is the second of three in the series. The last video will be growing soybean plants under a higher end tune spectrum white light, and then for the fruiting phase, half of those plants will be divided and grown under the cheap red-blue white light used in this video. This is to see which light will produce more beans if the light spectrum is switched for that phase and not left to grow under one light for the entire process. So if you wish to follow along, please subscribe and click the bell icon so you will be notified as I post new videos. I will also be giving away a free product to a randomly selected subscriber based on the comments of the final video. To keep these videos simple, I am including additional details in the description below. If I have forgotten to include some desirable information, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer and add it to the description at a later time. Now let's look at the results. The results can be looked at in a few different ways. The overall weight, the quantity, and the quality. The overall weight of the beans grown under the red-blue-white light was 95 grams and produced 70 beans. The overall weight of the beans grown under the white light was 77.5 grams and produced 51 beans. Looking at the appearance of the beans, both sets were nearly identical, but looking at the weight it shows that overall the beans under the white light were slightly heavier on average. Although the average weight per bean was not vastly different, the pods make up most of the weight. The actual beans grown under the red-blue-white light were very small compared to the beans grown under the white light. Lastly is the taste. The uncooked beans grown under the red-blue-white light had a very strong taste and the beans under the white light were a little more mild. So overall the taste was the same, except one was just a little too much for my liking. Looking at the overall growth under both lights, the plants appeared slightly healthier under the red-blue-white light, but that pales in comparison to the single plant I grew under the higher end Tune Spectrum white LED strips from QG LED. This plant is bushy and self-supporting with a thick stem and very tight node spacing. It also produced 52 beans weighing a total of 78 grams, which is basically the same in quantity and weight compared to all four plants grown under the white LED panel, except with half the wattage. Using my PAR meter, I made sure all these plants were receiving the same light intensity at the plant canopy. These strip lights are what I will be using episode 3 as I mentioned earlier. If these lights interest you, you can click the link in the description and watch my review video for these light strips. Now as I lead out this video, please keep in mind that these results cannot be applied to every type of plant, situation, or grow light. This has been merely an observation to mainly test how cheap grow lights perform against each other and to put all the hype to the test. From every grow test I have done, white light seems to show overall better results no matter how low end the light may be. So that's it for this video and hope to see you in episode 3. So thanks for watching, here on Growing Answers.